This video is sponsored by All PCB. What's up guys, I'm Steven, and today I'm going to show you how me and my friend made a badge for Supercon. If y'all haven't heard of Badge Life, it is this whole crazy movement where people will make their own conference badges out of PCBs. And most of the time, the goal is to make them absolutely as insane as possible. So this year for the Hackaday Super Conference, my friend Claire and I decided to give it a go. Now this year, Supercon happened in the LA area in 2019 in November, which is the exact setting of the movie Blade Runner. So we decided we had no choice but to make it relate to Blade Runner in some way. So we decided to base it off the spooky replicant owl from the movie. There's really not too much crazy stuff going on on this board. We knew we wanted it to have a bunch of lights because that's the whole point of this darn thing is to make it really flashy and blinky. We ended up settling on eight NeoPixels on the front and we were gonna have it blink out like secret messages in ASCII. And then the super wacky thing with the badge is the owl's eye. So we have eight RGB LEDs on here. We can make them do any color and light up however we want. But there's a ninth one and it's actually mounted on the back side of the board. But it's not shining out, it's shining through the FR4, the fiberglass that the board's actually made out of. And because it's mounted through the board, the fiberglass kind of diffuses it and it ends up looking really cool. It just kind of like makes the whole eye glow kind of ominously, just like from the movie. <laughs> it looks so cool. I think what would have been really cool with this is if we made it a four layer board and on the two in between sandwich layers, we had done traces that kind of looked like the eye was streaky, like it was bloodshot and that would have come through with the diffusion. Oh, that would look so cool. Next one. Now in terms of what the brain was gonna be for the badge, I had a whole bunch of ESP8266s left over from the Glowtech Kickstarter. So it made a lot of sense to just base it off of that because I had a million of them sitting around. There's a voltage regulator which takes the LiPo battery voltage and steps it down to 3.3 volts, which is driving all the logic. Then there's a chip that's specifically dedicated for handling the LiPo battery. This will handle recharging the battery when you plug in the micro USB port and it also tells you when it's completely charged. At the bottom is a little programming header which actually is the same pinout as the glow tie, so I was able to use my glow tie programming jig to program these guys too. So after we had the whole schematic done, we had to figure out how to draw an owl in a piece of software that was wholeheartedly not designed for drawing owls. But thanks to some awesome tutorials from Twinkle Twinkie on Twitter, we were able to import our art into KiCad using a plugin called SVG to Shenzhen. This will pretty much just take an SVG file and blop it into KiCad in the board layout tool, but it'll do it on a specific layer with all these different settings so you can tell it like exactly what you want. It makes it way easier for actually doing art on a PCB. I literally don't know how we would have done it without this tool, so. This is linked in the description, along with, by the way, everything that went into making this badge, all the source and everything is on GitHub. If you wanna check it out, make your own whatever, link is in the description. So after we had the actual owl design in KiCad, we started plunking all our components in there and putting them where we thought it would look the coolest. Then finally, after we had the whole design done, we sent them off to all PCB to get them fabbed in matte black gold finish boards. And make them out beautiful. Nope. Ha -ha. There's also this really goofy standard called the shitty add-on, which is pretty much just like a really, really small badge that plugs into bigger badges. It's this little six pin connector that has like a couple of GPIO pins, I squared C, and then power and ground. So we added a couple of those on the top of the board too. By the way, I made a little form two SAO. It's printing. It's so bright. After soldering our components on there and putting some super basic firmware on it, we had a working prototype. Now we just had to make 50 of them. And a month later, we were ready to show them off at Supercon. Mm -hmm.
guys, thank you so much for watching. In the next one, we'll finish up the motion control project. But in the meantime, don't forget to check out my Instagram page where I post pictures and updates about my projects way before they come out on YouTube. And lastly, I wanna thank this video sponsor, AllPCB. AllPCB made the boards for this project and they came out absolutely lovely. Their prices are insanely good and I usually get the boards in about a week, which is frankly ludicrous. If you're looking for a good board shop for your next project, definitely check them out. Okay.